Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting attended by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Qadibiyya Palace. His Majesty the King lauded the kingdom's wide-ranging achievements and praised the steadily developing performance of the government, commending the role played by His Royal Highness in leading the government's work towards more development, ensuring continuous excellence and ideal performance. His Majesty affirmed that the government is required to undertake its national tasks and responsibilities through its program for the next four years, expressing confidence in the ability of Bahraini citizens to perform their national duties and continue playing their role in the national development and achieve aspirations. His Majesty directed to adopt initiatives that support the sustainability of existing natural resources to ensure the stability of the foundations of economic security and promote the progress of various development paths in a way that provides qualitative opportunities for citizens, stressing that Bahraini citizens should always remain the main pillar of the development and na nation-building processes, as well as all government programs. His Majesty also directed the government to continue adopting initiatives that would raise the level of food security in the kingdom and support national food production. His Majesty described the executive legislator cooperation as the cornerstone of the development and modernization of the kingdom as currently witnessing in all fields, stressing that the achievements of the two branches and their appreciated efforts are catalysts for more efforts through the solidarity of all. His Majesty lauded the level of ongoing constructive cooperation and coordination between the two authorities to achieve the objectives of the comprehensive development process. His Majesty expressed pride in the role played by the BDF and its brave personnel who always showcase the highest values of loyalty and bravery in performing the patriotic tasks entrusted to them. His Majesty affirmed that the BDF constitutes the nation's preventive shield and congratulated the BDF commanders, officers and soldiers on the occasion of the BDF's 55th anniversary as well as thanks and appreciation to them for their roles they play with efficiency, professionalism and unwavering readiness to defend the homeland. His Majesty the King asserted that the King Hamad American Mission Hospital inaugurated recently in Ali will improve the health and treatment services in the kingdom, noting that it reflects the successful long-standing partnership between Bahrain and the U.S. He also valued the role played by the American Mission Hospital over the past 120 years, being among the first hospitals in the region since it opened in Bahrain. His Majesty emphasized that Bahrain is a country of peace and harmony, as it characterized by its diverse social mixture, which enhances its strength and status among nations, noting that the kingdom will maintain its approach based on consolidating the values of tolerance and openness to enhance rapprochement and spread peace and harmony across the world. While reviewing regional and international issues, His Majesty the King hailed the achievements of GCC countries in various fields, stressing the kingdom's support for all, aimed at strengthening cooperation among GCC states and achieving the interests of their peoples. He also highlighted the importance of further developing cooperation and coordination among GCC states at all levels to serve common interests and achieve the aspired goals. His Majesty the King also underlined the importance of commitment to implementing all the resolutions of the GCC Supreme Council and Al Ula Samad Declaration, in addition to carrying on coordinating the stances of GCC countries at various international gatherings. He also stressed the importance of resolving all outstanding issues and matters between Bahrain and Qatar to achieve the common aspirations of their citizens, preserve the cohesion of the GCC, and safeguard the region's security and stability. His Majesty also renewed the Kingdom's firm stance in support of the Palestinian cause and all endeavors aimed at achieving just and comprehensive peace in the region to achieve well-being, stability and prosperity for all. For his part, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended on behalf of the government his deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for appreciating the role of the government plays in driving the Kingdom's comprehensive development process. His Royal Highness affirmed that the royal appreciation would motivate the government to double their efforts and work as one team so that the government performance will always achieve the royal visions. His Royal Highness instructed the ministries and government departments to implement the royal vision and directives to ensure the continuity of development and modernization in various fields and improve performance efficiency.
The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, directed the Supreme Organizing Committee to prepare for the fourth edition of the Khalid bin Hamid Innovation and Artificial Intelligence Competition organized by Bahrain Polytechnic in cooperation with Microsoft. His Highness said that holding the competition through Bahrain Polytechnic is an affirmation of the importance of education and keeping pace with technical developments and capacity building. And based on the visions and directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to develop educational outcomes within the framework of the development process. His Highness noted outstanding role of His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in implementing these visions and his clear efforts to achieve a major leap in digital transformation in Bahrain. He affirmed the necessity for encouraging the youth who are interested in AI through these events to motivate them to achieve their ambitions and hone their skills. His Highness called on all students in Bahrain and GCC countries to participate in the competition to present their innovations and enrich the educational movement in the region. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhr, paid an inspection visit to Elba. Elba Chairman Sheikh Adaij bin Salman bin Adaij Al Khalifa and Chief Executive Officer of Elba, Ali Al Baqali, and other officials were also present. The Minister praised the influential role of industrial companies in Bahrain in developing the infrastructure of the national economy, supporting the objectives of the industrial sector strategy 2022 2026, and implementing the objectives of the 2030 economic vision. Fakhr was briefed on the sixth melting project and its process and he said that it is one of the most important development projects held by Alba. The CEO of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Dr. Nasser Qaidi, affirmed that the authority is intensifying its efforts to attract more weddings from different world countries to contribute to strengthening Bahrain's status as an ideal destination to host weddings and celebrations. He noted that Bahrain is hosting 14 weddings in the first quarter of 2023 for families residing in various world countries. He added that the authority is working with tourism establishments in the private sector, including hotels and resorts, to provide all facilities and services for hosting weddings through coordination with Gulf Air and other services and facilities within the framework of efforts exerted to increase attracting weddings in Bahrain within the tourism project Joy in Bahrain. Dr. Qadi stated Bahrain provided tourist attractions such as tourist facilities with high international ratings, islands, heritage sites, beaches, and Bahrain International Circuit for Bahrain to be the destination for weddings. He noted that Bahrain's international hotels are suitable for hosting all weddings and events, in addition to Bahraini companies organizing the specialized in the wedding and event sector. The National Health Regulatory Authority gained international recognition for quality in health care for the National Accreditation Program and the Standards for Evaluating Hospitals and Health Centers in the Authority. The CEO of NHRA, Mariam Al-Jalahma, notes that this recognition places Bahrain among developed countries in assessing quality standards such as the Canadian, American and Australian accreditation as Bahrain is considered the second Gulf country that achieves this recognition and the third Arab country after Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Al-Jalahma highlighted that the authority started implementing the national accreditation program since 2017 as it set main standards for the quality of health services that are evaluated in hospitals and medical centers as they are classified according to their performance in providing services in terms of quality, safety and efficiency. The authority evaluated 93 health institutions since the implementation of the program.